Hello viewers and subscribers, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. Uh, we need Mike from Titanside and right now we've just got the key for the door just up ahead and we've got our first five Etta's flasks now. I'm going to go back to this bonfire and stay, stay and I um, rest at it. That's just in case if I die I will spawn at this bonfire and it's a really, makes a nice shortcut back up as well. Uh, as you must saw we got a hundred souls, that's because the knight I was talking to in the last video just died and we got the souls. It's always a nice plus. Now, souls in this game um, count as everything currency. They repair your weapons and equipment, and they level you up. So, and it's important you get these souls. Now, once you die in Dark Souls, you will leave your body behind, and you have, that will leave all your souls behind, and you have one chance to get them back. If you die during retrieving them, you will lose them forever, and you got to start again. Uh, as you just saw, then uh, that was my kick attack with the scimitar and the jump attack there, pushing Y. We'll wield it with two hands, mean which I'm doing now, and this will mean your attack. So the attack will go up, but you cannot block well. Uh, to my dismay here, as it just goes horribly wrong. But two for one, not bad. So I'm going to switch back to my shield and sword. Tried to backstab in there, fail. Now I'm going to try and demonstrate the parry here. It doesn't work well. I think I just kill him normally. Uh, but if you get a parry right, you will get a critical hit and it will give you more souls and it looks fucking awesome, it really does. Uh, struggling with this guy. Failed on the backstab, went to the shield side rather than the weapon side. And see, he's healing with Netta's last, so you got to be careful with enemies that do that. Uh, so I think I'm going to heal right here and I'll be off on the plunge attack, that'll do massive damage to my enemy. And once we go through this light here, which light separates areas, it could be a boss or it could be a new area. Now we're brought back to the sound demon who we have to kill. And a punch and attack does a lovely amount of damage there. So what I want to do is lock on and you've got to try and get behind him. What I'm doing here. Uh, this is actually one of my worst runs against this guy. Just completely hectic everywhere. But yeah, get behind him and this guy is so easy. You will not be able to get hit by his attacks. Careful about that, release really, a shockwave. There we go, I'm getting behind him now. There we go, this guy's as good as dead now. Just basically attack him from behind, and you'll win. He won't be able to hit with any attack, unless he starts to fly. He's got a flying attack, which is next to nothing, which he does try to do on me. And uh, I apologise to the audio, slowing down here for some reason. And we get the big pilgrim's key open that black door straight ahead of us and humanity. I'll explain about humanity in a minute. I should explain now. Humanity basically once you die you'll turn hollow. Um humanity restores your humanity is to human meaning you'll find better items although your attacks won't be as strong. Um and you can use humanity to kindle a bonfire. Kindle a bonfire will give you more Etta's flax. Right now I have four but that's a maximum five. Just over here is a nice little hidden item and it's called the soul of lost and dead that is a plus 200 souls currency, so it's really good to use them when you're about to level up. Gives you a little extra souls in case you're running a bit short. Uh, I won't talk here because it's another cutscene, but I'll talk in a minute. But anyway, something else about humanity, it will heal a large portion of your health whilst you use it. So it's also, if you're now have Etta's flasks, um, you'll be able to get a large health bonus. But yeah, using humanity to kindle bonfires will up that Etta's flask from 5 maximum to 10 on the bonfire you use it on. Now, the area that we're going to we're going to now is sort of like the Nexus from Demon's Souls. This is called Filing Shrine, and this will have a bonfire which will permanently give us a 10 Etta's flasks heal. <laughs> So we will always have 10 health potions. Just looking around here. 
Now the audio on this did slow down and I don't know why. I'll try and fix but if not guys, you're gonna have to bear with it, I'm sorry. As you saw there it said I could level up Kindle or restore humanity. Or reverse hol holifying, I think it was. I've just taken them souls plus two hundred boost and I've taken the humanity as well. So now I can reverse hollowing. Take me back to a human. And I'll level up here as well. I think I've put one into dexterity and two into endurance. Dexterity will increase any dexterous weapons such as a scimitar, cantana, or stuff like that. A rapier. Here we go. This is another humanity. You can save that one for later so we don't have to use it. And if I find the right way, I'm trying to think where to go now, whenever they are, yeah, just down here, we'll get a nice little item of six fire bombs. Fire bombs are a projectile which inflict fire damage to an enemy. Really helpful if you don't want to get close to them. Or if you're high up on the below you and you just want to bombard them with it. Really helpful. I think I'm just gonna to speak to some people, get a bit of the story. Since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below in the ruins at the base of Light Town. Ring them both, and something happens. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land, the undead. <laughs> so there's our quest. We've got to ring two bells. Two bells for awakening. That should hopefully give our humanity back. Now, we come up here. If I can find the guy. Not there. Don't want to go there just yet. Down here. And I find a message on the floor, and it's to do gestures. Now, this always reminds me of monsters when you can do gestures to another player. So I think. We'll try this one now. Point up. Can we find this guy? I guess we're going to have a little talk to him, see what he's up to. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Paraland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance if possible. Hmm. I'm going to speak to him a number of times. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain a distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. Yes. Yes, go ahead. It's for you. A copper coin. No idea what that's used for. Might not be used for anything yet. You again. Oh. Now this is what we want them for. How about this? I have to awake my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that release So miracles are you gotta buy a talisman in your class. Miracles, and they've got like healing, homewood, which will put you back to the bonfire you last out without losing anything really helpful later on in the game. Uh, especially if you're so stuck, and um, there's this nice little cutscene which I like, this nice little animation, I mean, to join that covenant. And also, from every, pretty much any NPC you can talk to, which has a menu, which you'll see coming up in a minute, it's got a Learn gesture, and they can teach you a gesture. And I've just got the shrug gesture. And items that we got: great heal expert, homeward, and that's what you need to cast them. You need talismans. And I skipped that by accident tonight. I'm sorry, uh, but I got a new gesture, so let's go for joy. Yeah. Right, looks like we're reaching the mark anyway. So next time, guys, we'll be going up here and we'll be travelling to the Undead Berg. Uh, so, yeah, see you next time, guys.